for our next speaker, let's welcome Dr. Tan Chie Suai from Singapore, sharing about report on first clinical trial of using serolimus coated balloon for HDSS stenosis. Thank you for the invitation to share with you on the use of serolimus coated balloon in the salvage of thrombosed arteriovenous graft. First, I would like to apologize for not being able to be in Taipei to share with you on this topic. As in Singapore, we are fighting the COVID-19 outbreak and I hope that the situation will get better over the next few months. A functioning access is critical to the delivery of life-saving hemodialysis therapy in patients with end-stage renal disease. Arterial venous grafts are created in patients who have poor veins or are poor candidates for arterial venous fistula creation. However, new intermal hyperplasia often occur at the graft vein junction, resulting in narrowing of the vessel, poor flow within the graft, and ultimately thrombosis. Although we are able to successfully salvage thrombosed arterial venous graft either through open or endovascular technique, the patency rate after successful salvage therapy remains poor. Based on the literature, the average 3 and 6 month patency rate post salvage are 49 and 38% respectively. This prompted the Society of Interventional Radiology to recommend a target patency rate of 44% at 3 months and 21% at 6 months. In our center, our patency rate was close to the recommended target patency rate. However, if we examine the figure closely, it still meant that up to half of the patients who had undergone successful salvage therapy would be back again within three months. In our center, we attempted to improve the outcome by applying palataxia coated balloon for patients who present within three months of their prior intervention. But as you can see here, the effect was not great and only 43.6% remained patent at three months. Therefore, besides looking at the technical success rate, we should also focus on improving the functional longevity of the AVG after successful salvage therapy. Serolimus coated balloon has been successfully used in coronary artery intervention by preventing intimal hyperplasia associated with balloon angioplasty. Compared to palataxia, which is the current drug used in drug-coated balloon for peripheral intervention, serolimus is cytostatic in its mode of action. Moreover, it has a huge margin of safety compared to palataxia. We therefore postulate that the application of serolimus coated balloon at the graphene junction after successful endovascular thrombectomy will minimize neurotermal hyperplasia and thereby improve the pregnancy of the AVG. In terms of sample size, we took into consideration the suggested 3-month primary pregnancy rate of 44% by the Society of Interventional Radiology. If we assume that serumous coated balloon will improve the 3-month pregnancy rate to 75%, a sample size of at least 19 is required to show the significant improvement from baselines. Hence, we carry out a single center prospective study of 20 patients who presented with thrombose AVG. Surolimus coated balloon is applied at the graphene junction after successful endovascular salvage, and the patients will follow up at 3 and 6 months with duplex ultrasonography. These were the primary and secondary endpoint. The primary endpoint was set as the primary patency rate of the AVG at 3 months, and the secondary endpoints were the patency rate at 6 months, and the number of interventions needed to maintain the patency during the study period. These were the inclusion and exclusion criteria. Essentially, we only look at thrombose AVG in the upper limb, and patients with central vein stenosis or standard graft vein junctions were excluded from the study. 
a total of 37 patients were screened and 20 patients were recruited over a one-year period. The last patient was recruited in September 2019 and just completed the six-month follow-up. Majority of the screening failure were due to the presence of coexisting central vein stenosis. Others were due to the presence of residual thrombus or had failed endovascular salvage of their thrombus AVG. These are the baseline demographic data of the 20 patients that were recruited. The median age was 68 with a predominant female population. Majority of the patients are diabetic and up to 50% were on antiplatelet therapy prior to intervention. The median vintage of the AVG was 14.5 months and were predominantly in the upper arm. About a third of these patients had one to two intervention in the preceding 12 months. TPA was the thrombolytic agent used in two thirds of the cases. 7mm high pressure balloon was the predominant balloon size used to treat the culprit lesion, and cutting balloon had to be used in 20% of the patient. The size of the serolimus balloon used ranges from 7 to 8 mm. Most significantly, none of the patient has any significant residual stenosis or thrombus after the procedure. These are our results. The primary patency rate at 3 months was 76.4%, with 3 patients experiencing re-thrombosis within 90 days and one had repeated angioplasty performed for low flow in the AVG. Three patients had complications before reaching the three-month endpoint. The complications were all unrelated to the use of steroidomous coated balloon. One had surgical revision of the A-link of the AVG for pseudoaneurysm formation eight days after successful thrombolysis. One patient passed away from intracranial hemorrhage and one had explant of the AVG at 88 days. Significantly, these three AVGs were all patent at the time of the event. The primary patency rate at six months was 64.7% as two patients had re-thrombosis of their excess at 134 and 157 days post-intervention. This is how the kaplan meyer curve looks like. The estimated median primary patency is 381 days. The range is pretty big at 138 days. This is one of our first few patients who was recruited in the study in 2018. Post thrombolysis, the graft vein junction was treated with the serolimus coated balloon. This is how the graph vein junction looks like on DSA. And this, this is how the graph looks like 13 months after treatment with serolimus. Significantly, the patient did not require any interventions within the 13 months interval. From our study, it will appear that treatment with serolimus coated balloon at the graphene junction after successful salvage of thrombose AVG appears to be safe and the primary patency rate at 3 and 6 months appear to be superior when compared to plain balloon angioplasty. The limitation of our study include a small number of patients recruited and the possibility of selection bias. Moreover, aggressive treatment with high pressure and cutting balloons were required to manage the acute recoil of the graphene junction, which may not be the situation in the real world, where stenting of the graphene junction is often used to manage the acute recoil. Nevertheless, within the limit of our studies, we have demonstrated the feasibility of using serolimus coated balloon after successful endovascular salvage to improve the three and six month primary patency of the circuit. Larger randomized controlled studies are required to verify our findings. 
With that, I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, we have learned that Sirolimus, Bolumian, Grappling Junction uh, performance. So, Sonny, how do you think about that study? I think this is interesting, but uh, I think um, I am more interested about uh, the cutting balloon. Could, could I identify the, the result of the cutting balloon? I can't see any result over that. Because I, I think because the, the if you force to uh, injury the vessel, then you can uh, uh, stimulate the information. If we give the some drug, we will prohibit. And then some, from the PAD uh, experience, I see some patient use the device. We use the cutting balloon. Uh, you, we use the drug cutting balloon. We see the pseudon injury and reasonable dilatation about the target. So I, I am interested about if you use the cutting balloon in this graft uh, junction, it's work or it will be an increased modulate. Especially this result maybe have one year's results. So I want to uh, ask the speak, have any experience about that? Uh, for, for me myself, I do have two questions in mind. Uh, first, we do have Pacritasso or balloons on the market. So why do we need a serolimus? And secondly, uh, this study is regarding the artificial graph outlet junction. So does it, uh, can we have a similar performance on regular AV fissure? So may we refer to our, our panelists uh, to have some comment on this talk? I yeah, so uh, there were two questions. Number one was on the use of a cutting balloon. We do have a subgroup of patients who require cutting balloon. The requirement for enrollment will be successful treatment of the graft vein junction of the, after thrombectomy. So we need to treat it such that the, there is no recoil. In the subgroup, 20% patient who actually do not, uh, who underwent cutting balloon, they have similar uh, performance as, uh, as compared to the high pressure balloon group. So I do not think it's the cutting balloon that is uh, per se the reason for their longevity, but rather the, the ability to achieve uh, no residual stenosis as being the goal of, uh, of treatment. Now with regards to uh, palataxia versus serolimus, as we know palataxia itself is, uh, there's some controversy uh, employed in it, uh, especially in the lower limb. And secondly, we do know that majority of the drug is actually lost during transit for palataxia coated balloon. In comparison, serolimus uh, coated balloon, uh, the technology is such that it's uh, actually using a nanotechnology where the balloons are actually sprayed with serolimus uh, using a lipophilic uh, molecule. So the transmission of the drug is actually very efficient with uh, no loss of drugs. And uh, the safety margin uh, of serolimus is much higher than that of palataxia. And uh, secondly, as a nephrologist, we are very familiar with serolimus. I mean, it's one of the drugs that we use in transplant patients. So when they were approaching us to, to try this out, I said, why not give it a shot? And we are quite surprised with the results. Now, whether this is applicable to uh, arterial venous fistula, uh, we have done a pilot study about 20 patients. The results were very encouraging. We are looking at up to 90% patency rate at three months which uh, we have not shared in this presentation, but that is part of our registry work. So at this point in time, I would say that serolimus coated balloon appears to be effective, as uh, effective as palataxia coated balloon. However, we are still in the early stages and we are planning to uh, run some randomized controlled trial to verify our findings. Now, as to why we use the grabbing junction, why we use the choose the ABG, because the prototypic lesion is actually a new intimal hyperplasia. And therefore, if the serolimus coated balloon works by inhibiting uh, neutral hyperplasia, we can actually show and demonstrate the uh, positive outcome. And when we this drug, this technology came about, we decided to do it in the worst group, which is the ABG, because there is nothing else better in the market. And therefore, we actually chose the thrombose ABG group to to, to, to do this pilot study rather than in the fistula group. Well, thank you. Uh, we may discuss.